Welcome to this video on enzymes. Take a look at the key words we'll use in this video. So let's look at what enzymes actually are. Enzymes are biological catalysts. These are molecules made by living things to help speed up reactions. Because they are molecules, this means that enzymes are not living. When talking about enzymes, we say they are highly specific, as one type of enzyme can only catalyse one type of reaction. This is just like a lock and a key. Only one key can open one lock. On an enzyme, the active site is a particular shape so that only the correct substrate can fit in to react. The substrate is the reaction we are trying to speed up. There are two ways enzymes can work. They can be breakdown, where they split larger molecules down into smaller molecules, or synthesis, where they join smaller molecules together to form larger molecules. Now because enzymes aren't living, they cannot die, however they can denature, meaning they can no longer catalyse reactions. The active site changes shape, meaning the substrate can't fit in, so the reaction can't happen. Enzymes need very specific conditions to work. If their temperature is too hot, it interferes with the bonds holding the enzyme together, causing it to denature. If the conditions are too cold, the enzyme doesn't have enough energy to work. If the pH is off in either direction, it also interferes with the bonds causing the enzyme to denature. We can increase enzyme activity by increasing the substrate concentration, however this will only work until all of the active sites are full. We can call these perfect conditions optimum. Every different enzyme will have different optimum conditions. You need to know some of the names of the digestive enzymes. These are breakdown enzymes. Carbohydrates are broken down by the enzyme carbohydrates into simple sugars. Proteins are broken down by the enzyme protease into amino acids and lipids are broken down by the enzyme lipase into fatty acids and glycerol.